Good morning, East Texas. Today is a weather impact alert day as we're tracking Hurricane Barrel. It's heading toward East Texas. We are seeing right now a uh, Texas City camera. This is a live look outside. We've seen some storm surges out here, very gusty winds. Uh, this is out near Galveston, if you don't know where Texas City is. And this has been very rough. We've been seeing the camera shaking, gusty winds out there. Hurricane Barrel is still seeing wind gusts around 75 miles per hour. But as it continues into East Texas, we should start to see it weaken here in East Texas. We haven't seen the hurricane just yet, but we're starting to see the northernmost edge, some winds and some rain out there. This is mainly in deeper East Texas. So toward Nacogdoches, Lufkins, Vala, Crockett, you guys are all getting rain right now. Some pretty steady rainfall. The winds haven't kicked up just yet, but they will later today. Now I need to point out we do have a tornado watch not in East Texas, but just to our south by one county and that's set to go through 10 AM today. Now as the storm moves up to the north, we will most likely see another tornado watch get issued for our area. So make sure that you are staying up to date and checking back for the latest updates. I'll bring those to you all day and then our chief meteorologist Brent Anthony will have those for you tonight. Now these uh, right now we're still seeing a hurricane barrel out toward the Gulf Coast. It's still checking in as a category one hurricane. It's right on the border though of getting downgraded to a tropical storm. That should happen close to uh, 1 p.m. today. And it will keep that tropical storm strength as it moves over our area. Gusty winds and lots of rain coming out of this. Rainfall total stacking up between three to six inches with some areas receiving 10 inches of rain. That's enough to create major flooding. Remember to never drive into a flooded area and be prepared to seek higher ground if you need to today. So the biggest impact is gusty winds and heavy rainfall. That will continue all the way through 7 a.m. tomorrow. Hurricane Barrel will be downgraded to a tropical storm as it moves through our area. Heavy rainfall, wind gusts reaching over 70 miles per hour for areas out to our south and some areas along I-20 later this afternoon. Isolated tornadoes are possible mainly out toward uh, this afternoon and out to the east. That's where we're seeing this level three out of five risk. Uh, more widespread tornado activity, higher storm potential out there, gustier winds. Make sure you're staying weather aware. These storms will continue to push up to the north. By the time we get to 3 p.m., most areas along I-20 getting the brunt of this storm activity. Remember, very gusty winds. Watch out for some storms or some debris on the road. You're probably going to sustain a little bit of damage to your roof as these very gusty winds move through. These are going to be tropical storm force winds. It'll continue up to the north, and we won't start to clear out until around the 7 o'clock hour tomorrow morning. Now, we are going to be warming up to the 80s today. Well, 100% of us will see rain, but make sure that you are staying weather aware as it is a very active and fluid situation. We'll get pretend we will continue to bring you the latest. So keep checking back with us on air and online, or you can check out our mobile app that is available on the App Store or on Google Play, and it's free. And that's where we're going to send you push alert alerts with the latest information on Hurricane Barrel and tell you everything that you need to know to stay safe today.